And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Already a frigid start to the day with temperatures sitting at negative 14 in Lafayette right now. At least those winds are calm. Yesterday morning we saw winds between 5 to 15 miles per hour. Wind chills as low as negative 20. Same story this morning. However, with a temperature of negative 14, it doesn't take much to get those wind chills very low. In fact, we saw a temp or a wind right around 2 to 3 miles per hour just about an hour ago, and that dropped the wind chill to negative 25 here in Lafayette. So thank goodness winds are weak this morning, but as a result of the weak winds, we're actually seeing plenty of moisture here at the surface. So freezing fog, a possibility really condensing on many surfaces around, especially the southern half of the viewing area. So if you are traveling this morning, please be safe. Could run some, some, to some slick spots on those roadways over the next couple of hours here. Negative 11, that's your current temperature in Kokomo. It's 14 below in Fowler, 5 below zero in Crawfordsville this morning. Your wind chill advisory out for the southern portion of the viewing area. That goes through 9 a.m. Eastern time later this morning. That includes Carroll, Tipkanoo, uh, Warren, Fountain Counties, Montgomery, Clinton, as well as Howard Counties. Once again, through 9 a.m. Once we get past that point, temperatures are going to be looking a little bit nicer. Temperatures will be warming up to around the mid to even upper teens for some portions of the viewing area later in the day today. The reason we're seeing so, such cold temperatures throughout the region, all thanks to an area of high pressure now situated over eastern Iowa that's producing the weak northwesterly winds across the viewing area. But as that high pressure system shifts further off to the southeast over the next 24 to 48 hours, temperatures will begin to warm up. And actually, we're looking at a warming trend kicking off this afternoon, lasting through tomorrow and even into Thursday as well. So you can see See plenty of that low level moisture, especially for the southern portion of the viewing area. That's your freezing fog at this point. So please, once again, travel safely. Upper level moisture, pretty much non existent throughout much of the morning, the early afternoon. We'll see some light upper atmospheric cirrus cloud cover, but the sun will likely shine right through, and that's going to help warm temperatures up to around 14 degrees later this afternoon. Slightly warmer, certainly calm with those northeasterly winds right around 0 to 5 miles per hour. We'll hit that temperature right around 3 p.m., cooling off to around 10 degrees by 5 p.m., 3 degrees by 10 p.m. And then we drop down below zero. Once again, overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, negative four, your overnight low temperature. Tomorrow looking a little bit warmer. Once we get towards the afternoon, temperatures will actually be warming up into the mid to low 20s for tomorrow afternoon. Some light increasing cloud cover Wednesday evening. We'll see partly cloudy skies on Thursday. 23 degrees, your high temperature in Lafayette. Tomorrow we'll hit 32 on Thursday. And then we're back down to 26 on Friday. Saturday hitting 28. Slight chance of snow both of those days. Anywhere between one to two inches of additional accumulation. And then those temperatures begin in the warm up. 35 your high on Sunday. Monday, we're up to 42. Check that out. Rain showers head on our way on Monday. And there are some long range models actually showing temperatures continuing to warm up through the middle part of next week. Monday, we hit that 42. But how does the 50s and maybe even the 60s sound for the middle and latter part of next week, guys? Let's just focus on the end of this week. A vast improvement from oh, what we've been dealing with. Well, anything's yes. an improvement over what we've been dealing with. You know, seeing temperatures this morning, negative 14 already. We could see that temperature fall a little bit more. So all together, please, even though we have the warmer temperatures heading our way, be safe this morning. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Thank yeah. you, Cameron.